are our ingredients for our crab and shrimp boil. I have this shrimp here. You can choose to get cooked or uncooked. I have this sausage, um, not sure how to pronounce it. Some corn, some lemon, some Old Bay hot sauce, some boil in the back crawl shrimp crab boil, some bay leaves, some red potatoes, some hush puppies to have it on the side, some garlic bread as well for the side, and of course, one of the main characters in this, the crawfish. You want to start off by filling a big, large pot of water. I'm going to start off by chopping up the sausage. You can cut them as thick or as thin as you like. I'm gonna cut them about this thick. Here is our sausage, it's all chopped up. Now I'm going to slice up the lemon. All right, so here are our lemons. I'm gonna put four, I'm gonna cut them into halves, just like this. Next, I'm going to cut my red potatoes in half and this is just going to help them cook faster you can add as much or as little um potatoes as you like i got a three pound bag we like potatoes so i'm probably just going to throw them all in there so here i have chopped up the red potatoes the sausage and then some lemon halves okay we're going to add in the potatoes I'm also going to add one little cap of this. And this is just to infuse the flavors just a little bit more. It's just a little bit like that. Lemon. And then your bag your crab boil boil in the bag and then i'm going to cover this and then bring it to a boil next we're going to add in the corn and then we're also going to add in the sausage cover it and simmer it for 15 minutes We are going to add in the crawfish into our pot. So this is what it looks like so far. I used the wrong size of pan, so I've been having to take out water, but I also make sure to continue adding um, more seasoning as I take out water because it's being absorbed by the water. So on a separate pan, I'm actually going to cook the fit, the shrimp because it is the last thing. It's already pre-cooked, so I'm just going to boil it and just get it hot before um, our last and final step. Here I'm just kind of going to just um, make like my own butter sauce. So right here I put half a stick of butter, what I had left. I bought this baguette. It's already topped with some herbs on top. So I cut it in half and then I'm going to add some of this garlic spread on top and I'm going to pop it in the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes when I see that the butter has melted and whatever's left over I'm going to add into that butter mixture that I'm making. Here is the bread. This is what it looks like. It looks really buttery and yummy. All right, so this is what it looks like so far. We got our sausage, our shrimp, our crawfish, our lemon, our corn, and our potatoes. We've already drained it all. I'm just going to just season it once more. And then here is the butter that I made. I'm going to give that a twirl. I'm just going to slightly pour it over.
make sure you go all around that way everything gets fully coated I'm just gonna kind of mix that make sure everything's in there fully coated I'm gonna stir it once more and if you want to add more butter you can all right and here is the final product I added some more Creole seasoning on there here is the bread and it's all buttered up and it's ready to go this is what my plate looks like I put a corn some crawfish hush puppies bread potatoes shrimp and a lemon and I'm gonna top it up with some Old Bay hot sauce Let me give this a try. So good.